Citizen Tsuno Chrono is a heritage model reissued on a budget scale after one of their most iconic chronograph challenge timer ballheads named 679011. The model being dated from the 70s when the trend for racing chronographs was in vogue. So $200, I'll take it. Of course the brand has a rich heritage in chronograph watches as well. I believe it was a side-by-side -side competition with Seiko because both Japanese brands had similar alternatives to racing and bullhead chronographs. This model has a specific case which might not be the cup of tea for many people because this bullhead has the positioning of the crown and the pushers at 12 o'clock. To clarify, a bullhead chronograph has the pushers on top of the case, potentially the crown at 6 o'clock which highlights the resemblance of a bull with horns. The concept was made to serve not only as a watch on the wrist but as a dedicated hand or pole chronograph or stopwatch if you want. As packaging the brand applies the same heritage type of box typical for the era, which surprisingly looks premium associated with the watch. I'm saying that knowing that Seiko offers as well such packaging for their accurate heritage reissues. As process I discovered these watches looking at plus 9 time, and in this case I like the design and knowing the platform I went straight to eBay where I bought it. What is cool, I received the watch alongside a beautiful origami and a handwritten letter from the seller, which impressed me. I think this is a great way to attract customers, and in return I will leave the link to the seller in the description, maybe you will find something interesting there as well. And getting back to our watch. Citizen made this small ball head in a few colors. Some are limited editions in collaboration with merchants as well as this model with a dark blue dial and silver subdials which is made in collaboration with Pigani. So today the choice of the brand is to reissue these chronographs for any pocket. But what is interesting, keeping the same proportions as the original ones. And this makes me wonder how in this world they were capable to fit automatic chronograph movements inside of such small cases because the actual Tsuno chronograph measures 38mm in diameter. But since the case of the watch has quite an onion shape, being larger on the middle, narrowing down towards the top and the bottom with a short lug to lug, it really wears smaller than expected. The watch has presence because of the dial, but the case is extremely compact. So I'm not sure how they were able back in the days to fit such automatic chronograph calibers inside of these small cases. And I'm well aware that people will ask why this is not made on an automatic version as well. And I'm pretty sure that the brand understands that a bullhead is a niched chronograph and with an automatic movement inside, it should have been offered way above the $1000 range. And in this case, a lot of people might have said no. So from the brand perspective, why invest on uncertainty? As specifications, being a bullhead has a diameter of 38mm with 42mm as lug to lug, 12mm in height, 18mm between the lugs and weights 98.2 grams, so a compact case. The watch has a domed mineral glass which creates a magnifying effect when angled, we have a bit of loom and the tri-compax feature is powered by the caliber quartz 0510 and as price, this can be found between $190 and $250, depending on the color version. But pre-owned, I think this can be found below $150. Very interesting, I find, the black lacquered outer bezel. I think it provides a cool repetitive rhythm with a dark blue dial, followed by a silver tachymeter ring, and then by the black bezel, followed by the metallic case. So pretty sporty and retro. The dial design is tailored in the same manner of the 70s chronographs, with a lot of focus on colors and bright accents. Inside we have a tri compact dial which features seconds, 60 minutes counter and a 12 hours counter, with silver subdials in this case containing concentric circles and specific increments even for regatta timing. The color layout is appealing, we have red accents on the subdial hands with a faceted design on the main ones, surprisingly with loomed markers and a date window at 4 o'clock. On the wrist the watch is extremely handsome and I have to admit, sits very comfortable because the bottom of the case is sculpted in a way to sit down on the wrist surface, with falling lugs like a curtain 
And as for the dial quality, I'd say it's spot on. And very surprised lately how clean, well printed and decorated the dials can become. Because I didn't spot it any printing errors or scratches. So Citizen really offers quite a qualitative package for the $200 price range. The bracelet is as well inspired from the 70s design with a Stilux type of a bracelet which starts at 18mm tapering to 15mm, having an adjustable clasp similar to a Timex Q. And overall, although the watch wears small on the wrist, I love it. I think this is a qualitative release and an unusual type of chronograph, this being my first bullhead. So a good looking piece on the wrist, but pay attention, this wears on the smaller side. As competition, this model is positioned a bit below the prices of the most valuable existing quartz chronograph, being on a tight battle with the Timex Cube chronograph, the Orient Mako chronograph or the Glycine Combat Sub chronograph. And out of the bunch, this by far has the most retro case design. I just love it. So hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new around, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much, thanks for watching and until next time. Be brave, but stay safe.